Now we are going to discuss the fourth part of generativism which is universal grammar based approaches to second language acquisition and their evaluation. Universal grammar has explained language learning especially the native language learning which is a part of reason why universal grammar is of significance in the field of linguistics. So the focus of universal grammar basically remains on the acquiring of first language learning process acquiring of first language learning. Reason is that the very concept of the language rules and principles which are innate have to do with the children or the child learning. Chomsky has conducted numerous researches to prove that children learn quickly and also without having the explicit instruction given to them and also the process that they can determine and they can point out the structures which are grammatical and which are ungrammatical. So we see that universal grammar remains focused on the first language acquisition. Second language acquisition gained importance as a study of dealing with learning a second language after a first language is already established. After a learner or a child has acquired or mastered the very linguistic system of his or her mother tongue, then when he or she is exposed to the second language, what phenomena or particular principles and parameters contribute in the acquisition process. Universal grammar and then second language acquisition. We see that researchers have been now still in the process of looking at it. They have tried to find out whether second language learner have access to universal grammar or not. Three models have been proposed. The direct access model, the indirect access model and no access model. So basically in terms of second language acquisition, the researchers have been trying to look into the fact that whether when you are acquiring a second language, can you have an access to universal grammar present there, available there, not. So for that particular reason, three different models have been produced so far. Let's discuss the three universal grammar models for second language acquisition. The first method is the direct access model. Many researchers have worked on that. The prominent one are Flynn and White. That is that universal grammar is available directly to second language learners. That is, they have access to it separately from L1. The direct accessibility hypothesis asserts adult learners learn both first and second language by setting parameters to universal grammar. So if universal grammar can be used in the first language, it can also be applied or used in second language as well. Second language learner makes full use of universal grammar, including the part which is not reflected in his mother tongue. Second language learner's grammar knowledge is determined by the degree of universal grammar. The major contribution in terms of Flynn and White is that they have conducted the experiment to show that how this particular phenomena is possible. Flynn investigated the development of binding conditions on pronominal anaphora in second language English and whether that development is influenced by the parameter setting of learners first language. Flynn compared two groups performance of second language learners of English 
that is a head complement of language and the first from the first language background that is also a head complement language Spanish the results suggested that there is indeed a significant difference in the two groups so therefore they can have and they can access the both process or universal grammar separately from L1 the second is the indirect access model according to this universal grammar operates in L2 acquisition but via L1 the effects that particular first language parameter settings may have on the way in which second language learners develop the parameter settings of L2 second language white uses the approaches of grammatically judgment to let the first language french learners of second language english do the comprehension task the results suggest that second language grammars are generally constrained by subjugacy with some apparent resting of bounding notes white found that spanish learners can apply the knowledge of pro drop parameters into second language which is evidence that shows the direct accessibility of universal grammar in second language acquisition in other words although second language grammars are still consistent with universal principles of human language learners tend to perceive second language in a way that is shaped by the ways their first language realizes their principles the third model is the no access model now here the researcher klesen and moeskan believe that universal grammar is not available to second language learners universal grammar is accessible to first language acquirer only and the parameter setting in the first language cannot be reset for second language acquisition klesen made a study on the word order acquisition and he makes a comparison between two groups one is learner from whom german is their native language and the others from whom german is this german is the second language and it was found that the learners in the first group learn svo subject verb order first and then acquired the knowledge sov furthermore the second language group just the opposite did the opposite so klesen argues that universal grammar plays no role in the sla that is to say universal grammar is inaccessible to sla there is another model afterwards which is considered the overall model a number of researchers have worked on that where felix says competition model ls gave a name of dual model and later on towel and hocken says that the overall model can also be considered as an attempt to combine the previous models where you can have the direct role of ug in second language acquisition and the reasonable interpretation of the role of L1 first language in second language acquisition to conclude the question of availability of universal grammar in sla is not clear and there are different methods which have been used to address this method however most of the researchers in this area stand between the indirect access position and the no access position